welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Stains Crafter. Um, today I am coming to you with my May wrap up. Which is plans. <laughs> it's hard to say plans because whenever I make plans, I don't follow through. Um, so for the month of May, I was going to kind of follow along with the May Acrostic Challenge. And I, you know, chose the, the projects I was going to work on, and I did not work on some of them at all. So you might remember, I'll put up pictures, um, Sophie and Howl I planned to work on, um, Princess Mononoke, Kiki, maybe the other Kiki, you know, a couple Studio Ghibli pieces, um, maybe a Totoro, and I did not work on any of those. But I did work on, I think, nine projects, including three new starts. Plus, I did a little bit of knitting and a little bit of diamond painting. And I read like 19 books this month, <laughs> plus school, plus work. So I've been busy. Um, happily busy, not like overwhelmed, mainly busy. I hope you can't hear my chair creaking too much. Um, let's start. So I'll just grab one randomly. This one, okay. This one I don't think I had planned on working. And then I had one on the acrostic. It was for I, just interesting way to grab my interest. And I guess I was kind of feeling this one. I worked on this one a little bit more, but not too much more. I'll try to put a picture up um, of what it looked like if I can find one. When I started. So it's hard for me to even tell you how much I got done on this because I cannot remember where I was. I know I did more of the light colors. So I'd already had some, whoops, my camera is angled weird. Um, I had some of these green and grays. It looks almost blue on my screen, but they're green and grays. I hope you can see these. And then I worked on going in more of the light colors through here. There's like pinks and really light grays and greens. Show you the back. You can see better on the back. But I actually have more done than it looks like. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to work on this in June. I'll probably do. I don't have the acrostic challenge words yet for June. I mean, it's just now 2 o'clock in the morning on June 1st, 2.30. Um, I thought they would have them posted by now, but I wasn't seeing it in the 24 hours posted group. Again, this is what it will look like. I love this piece. But it just wasn't calling to me much, so I put it away pretty early, and I'm not going to get it back out. Mostly I've been cross-stitching at work. I work weekends. 12-hour um, shift Saturday and Sunday, so I bring stuff with me and just work on it there. And at home, I'm usually doing my homework before my daughter's home for the holidays, or for the holidays, for her summer break. So I've been spending some time with her. She didn't take any summer classes. Um, this one I planned on working on, and then I could not find it at the first of the month. I finally found it just a few days ago, and I actually worked on it pretty steady for a few hours. Um, I think I called it like Crystal Dragon or Dragon Sphere. I can't remember what I called it. I had it Crystal Dragon on the acrostic sheet. I call it something different, I think, every time I work on it. I usually have it for E because it kind of looks like an Earth, even though it's not really. But um, yeah, I'll try to put up a picture if I can find one of where I was when I started on it this time. And here is where I am now. I really need, let me, pardon for the motion, and try to move this a little bit. Maybe that's a little bit better, I don't know. It's an arm that hangs over my desk and it just keeps lowering. No matter how much I move it up, it just comes back down. I have to find a new setup, I think. But um, I had all of this dark on this corner and on down. So when I worked on it the last couple of days, I did this. 
again on my monitor it's not showing up the right colors but this is like a dark green and then like a purpley brown I, don't, I can't remember what that color is called I worked on those and then through here I worked on this and then this big area right here so I, I did quite a few maybe four or five hundred this is maybe more I didn't count them at all Worked on down through here a little bit. Like I said, just worked on it a couple of days, but I worked on it several hours. And then again on the back, you can see more. Because I hadn't even started anything other than this big block of color I've been working on. I think it's like three different colors in there. Definitely cannot tell on my monitor, but yeah, it's like three colors. I think it's, um, Nine three nine three ten and eight two three, I think, are the colors that are in there. There might be a fourth color. I know there's like those three. I'm pretty sure this works through here also. I really like this one, and I think I will probably keep this close by and work on it some more. It's actually a pretty quick stitch. It's got a lot of blocks of color. But it also has confetti, like the really spaced out one stitch here, one stitch there confetti, which is kind of frustrating at times, and I cannot do at work. Okay, another one that I don't think I had planned on working on. I don't see it written down on here. But this one, I did end up working on this one more towards the beginning of the month. Because one of those I just threw in my work bag. And um, I think I did more here. Because I think I just had part of these three squares. So I did a little bit more here and then go in through here. But then I also started, I think there's like two or three colors. Which I swear they look the same. But, I mean, I just follow along. So that I started on the green. I didn't do any more on the bottom half, but up through the handle of the sword, and down and through here. This is another one I'm going to keep in my work bag in case I want to work on it. This is another pretty fast, easy stitch. Um, where I work, this stays pretty dim because it's 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. and my client's trying to sleep, so I try not to have too many lights on. So I have like um, an overhead light on and a little lamp, but the lamp does not really help illuminate anything, so it's kind of difficult for me to stitch at work on anything complicated, like the big blocks of color is easy. But yeah. I'm not getting, making excuses, I'm just saying that's why I take some of these easier ones to work on. Um, this one, another one I don't think I planned on working on more this month. Um, I couldn't remember how much I did on it. I looked back at my um, April wrap-up, and it looks like I had mostly just done like the hat. So I think I did all of this with the greens and the blues in the sphere. And maybe some of the black coming down. This is my Harry Potter snow globe, or whatever you want to call it. Looks like I did. I've done quite a bit on it. I'm not planning on doing the background because the background's white. So I'm mostly just focusing on the sphere. I'm trying to work my way down. I'm doing big blocks because I was doing this at work also, so I was trying to do the big blocks. Work has me tempted to do the background since I could just mindlessly stitch, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to save that white for a different project. I'm still loving this, and I hope it turns out good. It looks like it's going to. Really enjoying it. Hopefully I had a picture up. Alright. 
mix. I'll show you one of the new pieces that I started. Um, like this, there are three different things. If you watch my channel, if you follow, then you know that I've started this. I put up a couple of stitch with me. But I, I just got this in recently. I started working on it. I cannot remember what it's actually called on the site. But like no strawberry kittens. I just call it strawberry kittens. As I said, it's a new start. Oh, here was a better picture. Aren't they cute? They're just adorable. So I've worked on this twice. I only worked on it here for my um, Stitch With Me's. And I'll probably keep it here and just do Stitch With Me's for it. Just depends. I'm, I kind of want to get it get more to work on it and I don't do a lot of stitch with me. I'd like to stitch more on it. But I might change my mind and take it to work. I'm not sure yet. Because I can't cannot record at work. I don't know. What do you think? Do you want to see it all done on camera? Or does it bother you if I skip around and do part of it off camera? I'd like to know. Let me know if you're, you know, watching this. And if you have an opinion, drop it in the comments or email me or whatever you want to do. It's been pretty easy so far. Just been doing the blocks of color. I'm easier to get down into the cats themselves, but I'm trying to work my way down, over and down. But I really like this one. I think it's a Mona Lisa. Does it say anywhere? I don't think it says it anywhere. I'm pretty sure it was a Mona Lisa brand. Which I think whenever I did the unboxing for it, I said I don't think I have it Mona Lisa. But I know I have at least a couple others. My, um, the girl with the mask. I know she's Mona Lisa and I think I have something else. All right, another one that I don't see that I had her written down on my acrostic challenge, but one that I worked on more this month is this one, Girl, Girl with Geese is what I call it. I just, I love this image and I love the colors in it so much. It was just calling to me. I think last week is when I was working on this one. And I had started up in here. I'll put a picture up if I can find out how much I had done. I did quite a bit. I worked on it a few hours. I did several hundred stitches on it. These purples. And this is a purple, but it's showing up really blue on my monitor. They're all purples and like pinky purples. And I'm definitely going to keep working on this. It's just, it's, I love the colors. And it's, there's some big blocks of color that I can just stitch on at work and not... Don't worry about it. I can see the geese. I didn't know what these were at first. I forgot it was geese. I was working on like, what are these blotches? <laughs> geese. Might try to get some of those done this time. I'm eager to get down to the girl, but it's the sky. The sky that I love so much. So this has been really fun to work on. And I definitely will work on it some more. Um, I'm not sure. I think I posted about this somewhere. Might have been on my, my Instagram or something. But this is another new start. Um, I can't remember where I got this from. Either Timu, no, maybe AliExpress. I don't know where I got this from, but enjoy Sunday. So you know it's going to turn out pretty good. I haven't worked on this one much. So this was a new start. And I think if she wants it, I'm going to give this to my daughter when it's finished because she loves geese, or geese, ducks. She loves baby ducks and she loves frogs. And it's not very big. Uh, it really messes with my eyes when I look at it. 
I haven't done much on it yet. Hey, this is a 14 count. It's not marked, is it? Yeah, it's a 14 count. 14 count. So I don't work on this at work because I need better lighting. But I haven't done much. I started on some green. I plan on keeping this close at hand for when I'm at home if I have any time to work on it. It's not really a fast stitch because there is a lot going on. But I mean, it's a nice block of color too, so it's a lot going on. It's going to be so cute when it's done though. I'm not going to struggle putting that back in yet. That was what my second new start. My third new start is this. It is a beauty. If you've seen my unboxing for these, I think I finally uploaded that. There's four of these, one for each season. Got these from Kino. Or Kino. I still don't know how to say it. I don't know. I don't mean to take everything out. I was trying to get the stickers. Um, picture. Again, I love the colors. This is obviously like the more spring-like. Lots of floss involved. This one I was working on at work. And it's really big. Get it unfolded. Put the bottom. Just so started. Okay, it's really bulky and awkward. It's got about a thousand stitches in, I think, if you can see those. Maybe a little bit under, maybe more like eight, nine hundred. And now I got the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, most of the nine. So at least nine something stitches in. Like I said, I don't count my stitches unless it's for a challenge, so. <sighs> Messed up, has some threads here and there just stressing me out. I think I'll put the thread or thread or a weird stitch. Oh my ugly nail too. Anyway, this one is gonna take absolutely forever. But I'm enjoying it. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm going to keep working on this one for a while and not start one of the other ones. We will see. I'd like to get a good part of this done before I start one of the other ones in this whole series. I cannot get that one. I want to put that in a different bag. That's been stressing me out. Okay, did not mean to hit the camera. Last but not least in my main system is the one I call Beat <laughs> or Big Eyed Girl. She's the one that's got to be Lydia Beat from Beetlejuice. I mean, she's got all this stuff. I've been kind of obsessed with her. I'll try to remove, like, find a picture to put up. I cannot remember if I took a starting picture, but. I've worked on her for hours, as you can probably tell. I added more to her face. Show me more on her face. I've done more black around her face and her hair. And I've been working on her hat in the background. I had to go buy some of this dark, like, gray-green to go in it. The number that is listed, DMC number, for this number. Um, was it 934? I don't remember if it's 934. No, I think it's a different one. Anyway, whatever, might be the orange, the orange 3799, whichever this one is, whenever I went and looked at 
that BMC number at the store, it was a completely different color than the um, one strand they had on the, the board. So so I end up buying, what if I have it in here? Is this the one I'm using? 934. I think that's the one we wanted. Sorry. I thought I had the little number thing left in here. I have the other end. I think 934 is the one I decided not to use because it didn't quite match. Anyway, maybe I'll find it and put it up on screen. This is a mess. So I went by what they had on the cloth card and tried to find one that was close to it. And I could not find, oh, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. This one was way too light, almost olive greeny. This one's more of a, is it like a forest green, hunter green? It's a little bit lighter than the one they had on the floss card, but it, it was closer to it than this. This was a much lighter green, so. Whatever this color is, I end up going with this and bought several skeins of it because this was supposed to have a big hank of it. And I thought it was going to be a lot easier to color match than it ended up being. It was a little bit frustrating because going to the store, you know, I have a DMC number. I just kind of expected it to be the DMC number, you know, the same color at the store, and it was not. But it doesn't matter. I think this works just fine. It just gives it a little bit of definition, really, so that it's not just a dark background. It's like her big hat that she's wearing. As I said, I worked mostly, I mostly just worked on the black and just been filling in mindlessly stitching on it. And whenever I get tired of just doing big blocks of black, then I'll go in and choose the color on her face and just work on her face a little bit. Then we'll move on to like her neck thing. Keep filling in some of the black down here and try to get some of her shoulders and stuff in. I'm still really enjoying this project. I'm so glad I contacted the person, the other YouTuber, and said, hey, I would love to stitch that because she didn't want to because I just love how this is turning out. She makes me happy. I love her eyes. And I still have some colors to put in, so they're going to be even better once I get them done. I find the contrast in the colors on her face kind of jarring. I'm hoping when I finish filling it in, it won't be so abrupt from one color to the other. It's just really, really pale, and then all of a sudden really pink and purple. But overall, I love this piece, and... I will keep this in my work bag because I like working on this. Listening to audiobooks, sitting out at my client's house for 12 hours. It's like really quiet out there. And it's just peaceful, just listening to audiobook or whatever and working on that. So those were my cross stitch pieces. Um, I usually don't bring out my knitting, but I've only been working on this. And even then, I've only been working a little bit. Every time, I think, did I show, show this last time? Oops, I'm dropping stitches. Grab those real quick. I'm trying to remember if I showed this last time. I feel like I did, and last time it was on the needles too, but it's just a shawl. 
makes me think of me a pop ice cream, kind of, even though it's not brown, it's gray. Gray, white, and pink. Two grays. But it's a very easy pattern, stitch pattern, so I don't have to think too much. Just four rows in the pattern that repeat. Get cat hair all over it. I need to finish this up. I've had this on the needles for a long time. I didn't stitch anything or knit anything for a long time. So that was what I did in May. I, I worked on one one section of my diamond painting. Didn't do any of my brick kits. I have this one. Well, it's like two sections. So I'm probably going to do it all at once. I did more on this one. And um, I just want to get this one done. It's cute. It's kind of fun to work on, but I'm just ready for it to be done. I have other ones I want to work on. I'm trying to get back into diamond painting. I just kind of fell out of it for a while because having to set up everything to do it. It's easier to sit down and cross stitch for that. Um, I still want to get to some more of my little brick kits. I think I want to do the avocado. So, June plans. I don't have any set plans. I think I'm going to work on this little avocado block model kit. I think I'll do that. Upload it. Um, do that. I'm going to work more on that shawl. I'm going to finish that diamond painting. These are the the plans. My I don't want to say set plans, but those are what ones I I definitely want to do. And then for my stitching, my cross stitching, um, I'm going to probably work more on the ones I showed you. My my Zelda piece or link or whatever you want to call it. My silhouette. Um, the dragon, the girl with the big-eyed girl, feet, definitely. And I'm going to keep, like, my Princess Mononoke and probably my Sophie or Hal or one of my other Studio Ghibli ones in my work bag because I can stick, fit about five or six projects in there plus some other little things I take toward. Um... I think I'll keep those in there so I can just have a variety to grab while I'm at work and hope I work on some of those. Like I said, I have no set plans, no stitch count, anything like that. Just, I was trying to be a little more goal-oriented for May because I felt like I was not accomplishing as much since I stopped doing the acrostic challenge and, and doing the other challenges. But making plans didn't actually help me much. I think I did pretty good on some of them. And I've been busy with them. These, the classes I'm in right now are kind of homework heavy, reading heavy, really, several chapters a week. But I just finished midterms. I got A in my classes, A in my classes for midterms. So that made me happy. I just have four more weeks. I'm in the fifth week, and they're eight-week classes. So I'm just trying to get through these. Um, I can move on to my next one. Managerial ethics is like interesting and boring at the same time. It's a lot of reading, a lot of thinking. It's not, you know, there's not a whole lot, a whole lot of hands on projects or something like it. Um, I do have to write a lot of little essays and stuff for it, giving my my thoughts on ethics of certain situations. And I find it interesting. It, it really makes you think. It makes you realize there are so many different sides to everything. What's good for one person is not going to be good for another in a moral kind of way, in an ethics kind of way. It's interesting. And then my social psychology has been strangely kind of going along with it. And I told my husband, I, I said, I kind of guess it makes sense because in the ethics class, you're looking at how ethics works with business and how people 
relate to other people and interact with other people in, in ethical ways in business settings. And then in the social psychology, you can have groups of people work together and affect each other. And ethics can certainly play into that. But it's almost the same kind of, I almost said brother and sister. Not synergy. I don't know what word I'm looking for. Anyway, I'm just rambling. It's just they've been coinciding a lot. It's, just, it's funny how they've been kind of merging together. Like sometimes I'll forget which homework I'm actually doing because it would apply to either class. Um, all right, I want to stop rambling, but that's kind of like my little life update with my plans. <laughs> Stitching, knitting, a little bit of diamond painting, lots of homework. I've only been working the one job. I haven't um, worked at NASA any time in the last several weeks. I did go in and um, do some training and got a paycheck that was much bigger than I thought it was going to be in real estate. I don't, I didn't know because I'm not exactly part time. I'm temporary help, but it's, it's not that either. I'm not a full time employee, but apparently I'm supposed to get paid vacation. And since I didn't take any this last year, they just gave me a check for all 80 hours of paid vacation. So that was a nice little bonus. I was not expecting. Um, it wasn't quite as much as a paycheck would be because whenever I get paid, I get paid base plus a supplement because I don't usually work 40 hours. And if I'm working under 40 or up to 40 hours, you get, since I'm working for the government, I guess, I get some kind of supplement make sure that it's a living wage so I get paid like an extra four or five dollars an hour when I'm actually working in the vacation they just pay you the base wage but it's still I mean it was 80 hours at my base wage so it was a really I thought they had made a mistake and thought I was gonna have to pay it all back it took me forever to figure out what was going on but that that was nice I needed that <laughs> Anyway, it's like you really didn't even know all that. You know I do a TMI every time I do a video. So so I will stop rambling. Um, let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you're working on. Let me know if you like any of the projects, if you want to see more of my projects, if you want to see me do more on camera. And let me know if you want to know about any of the books I've been reading. I do upload, um, I usually upload a wrap-up every month. I did one on my on my TikTok, but I don't know if I'm going to upload it here. I don't know if anybody's actually interested, but I've written 19 books. Most of them four, five, or four star. I think I had three five star and a couple, maybe three or four three stars. I'm starting to wonder if I rate a little high. That's a lot of four and five stars. But I read some really good books. If you have not read stuff like Brandon Sanderson, or Binding 13, that series, Tom, The Boys of Tomlin, is that what it's called? Why did I wait so long? Why did I wait so long? I've heard about it for a long time. I've heard about Brandon Sanderson for like a long time. Why? Why? Why am I just not discovering these books? I'm obsessed. I'm like addicted to Brandon Sanderson at this point. And Binding 13, I don't even know why it was as good as it was, but it was so good. All right. I really will stop rambling now. And thank you if you stuck it, stuck, stuck with me to the very end of the lot of rambling. Um, I really appreciate you. Please consider liking, subscribing, sharing. Um, if you get any enjoyment out of my content, and like I said, drop a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you've been up to. Let me know what you've been working on. Let me know if you've been reading. And um, I will see you next time. Bye bye.